Hi everyone. Today I want to show you how to set up TLS encryption when you're using the HAProxy Kubernetes ingress controller. So when you're using an ingress controller, all the traffic to your Kubernetes cluster passes through the ingress controller. That means it's the perfect place to set up TLS encryption. And when you do that, all the services running in your cluster sort of inherit TLS. So we've put out a blog post about this, and I recommend that you check it out. It's called Enable TLS with Let's Encrypt and the HAProxy Kubernetes Ingress Controller. There's lots of good information in here about how to set up the Ingress Controller, how to set up uh, TLS certificates when you're not using Let's Encrypt, but specifically during this session, I wanna talk about how to set up certificates when using Let's Encrypt. So I've already set up a Kubernetes cluster in Azure using the Azure Kubernetes service. And next, I want to install the HAProxy Kubernetes ingress controller. So following the, uh, the blog post, I'm going to install it using Helm. So Helm repo add HAProxy tech, and then the URL to the, uh, to the Helm charts. So that will add the HAProxy uh, Helm repository. Next, I'm going to do a Helm repo update to make sure that I have all of the latest charts. And once that's complete, I'll go ahead and install the HAProxy uh, Kubernetes ingress controller. Uh, and I'm, I'm going to install it using service type load balancer. So what that does is since my cluster is running in Azure, Azure will automatically create a cloud load balancer in front of my cluster. And I'm going to be able to use that to expose my cluster to, to the internet so that I can reach it from a public DNS name. So that is, uh, the, that's now installed. The HAProxy Kubernetes ingress controller is now running in my cluster. And if I do kubectl get pods, I can see that it's listed here as the HAProxy Kubernetes ingress uh, pod. And you actually have two of them for redundancy. So next, I need to install Cert Manager. So Cert Manager is a service that runs in your Kubernetes cluster and it answers challenges from Let's Encrypt. So Let's Encrypt needs a way to be able to validate that you own your domain. Then it creates a certificate that is specific for that domain. So there are a couple of different ways that Let's Encrypt can do this. We're gonna be looking specifically at the HTTP-01 challenge. And how that works is Cert Manager will uh, put a file at a well-known URL that Let's Encrypt expects, and Let's Encrypt is gonna check that URL and expect that file to be there. And if it is, then it knows that you have control over that domain. Otherwise, you wouldn't have been able to put the file there. And then it says, okay, you are validated for this domain, and it generates a certificate for you and hands it over to Cert Manager. And so then Cert Manager puts that certificate into a Kubernetes secret within the cluster. And once that secret is there, the HAProxy Kubernetes ingress controller detects it and can begin using it for TLS uh, encryption to, to encrypt traffic. So to set up Cert Manager within my cluster, uh, I'm gonna run a command like this where I am applying a YAML file from their website. And you can find these instructions on the Cert Manager website. But once you run this, it's gonna install all the components in your cluster. And then the other thing that you need is a cluster issuer. So here in this file, I have a cluster issuer and I'm calling it Let's Encrypt Staging. And the server uh, that I specified here is the Let's Encrypt Staging server. Uh, it's, it's a good idea when you're practicing to point to the Let's Encrypt Staging server, that way you're not bombarding their production servers and you're not gonna get rate limited. Uh, but once you are ready to use a real certificate, uh, you would switch over to using their, the Let's Encrypt production URL, production server URL. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, apply both of those to my cluster. So kubectl apply. And so now both of the cluster issuers are running in my cluster. Cert Manager is all set up. And the next thing I need to do is make sure that Let's Encrypt can reach my cluster 
And so for that, I need a public DNS name that points to the IP address of my cluster. And so you, if you remember, when I installed the HAProxy Kubernetes Ingress Controller, I set the, um, the, ser the service type to load balancer. And what that does is tells Azure to automatically provision a load balancer, a cloud load balancer in front of my cluster. So if we look at that, in Azure, uh, it has provisioned uh, a load balancer. So let me go into that. And it says that I have two public IP addresses. And this second public IP address is the one that I want to use. So I'm using NS1 for my DNS. Uh, as my DNS provider, you can use any, any DNS provider that you would like. And I'm going to add an A record for this. And I'm going to call this demo. So it's demo uh, and then my uh, main domain name. And then I'm going to put the uh, IP address for Azure's load balancer there and save the changes. OK, so now that record is there. And now I should be able to reach uh, this here. Uh, yes. so. And as you can see, it's just bringing back the default web page that the HAProxy Kubernetes Ingress Controller gives you when there's no other service running. So now I'm going to install a very simple service into my cluster. Uh, so here is my deployment file. I'm going to be deploying an echo server, which is just going to echo back any HTTP uh, headers that it receives. So when I go to the web page, it'll just show basically details about the request. So I'll go ahead and install that. And I also have a service that is going to expose this within the cluster. So in order for this service to be uh, accessible from the internet, I need to install an ingress. And the ingress controller is constantly watching for these ingress objects to be created. So when I create this, it's going to detect that and it's going to uh, forward the uh, ex external traffic that is requesting the service into this service. So I'll go ahead and install this ingress object. And uh, take a closer look at this ingress object. So I have a, an, an annotation here that's called cert manager, uh, cert manager IO cluster issuer. And this is saying which of those cluster issuers do I want to use. And in this case, I'm pointing it to the staging cluster issuer. And then I've said the, the host that I want to, want to use. So this is sort of filtering the, uh, the, the rules, the, the ingress rules. So if a request comes in for demo.nramirez.pw, then it's going to go to this backend service that I just created. And the other thing that I have is a TLS block. And this says, what is the name of the secret that you would like for cert manager to store the certificate in once it gets it from Let's Encrypt? So those are all sort of components. And these are, these are added once you have cert manager, uh, or I should say they're available once you have cert manager running within your cluster. So now that I have that ingress uh, object applied to my cluster, I should now be able to reach, uh, reach the, uh, the website using TLS. And as you can see, it's bringing back TLS certificate, but, but because we are accessing the staging TLS servers, it's not a trusted certificate. So the last thing that we want to do is we want to change it so that it uses the production Let's Encrypt servers. So for that, you're going to go back to your ingress object and you're going to change the, uh, the cluster issuer that you're using to be the production one. See that? And then you're going to reapply this object. And it may take a couple of minutes, but eventually uh, the certificate is going to be a true TLS, or I should say a true Let's Encrypt TLS certificate. So let's go back to the website and see if it's been updated yet. So here we go. 
Uh, so you can already see that it, it is verified by Let's Encrypt. And that's pretty much it. That's how to set up uh, Let's Encrypt certificates for the HAProxy Kubernetes ingress controller so that you can use a true TLS certificate, one that's trusted by clients uh, to encrypt traffic as it enters your cluster.